Still many people don't like the Edge browser, and they want to completely and permanently remove from their Windows 10 or Windows 11. I'll be sharing two simple steps. Once you apply them, the Edge will be completely removed, and even it will not be reinstalling in the future. So, make sure that you apply both the steps, or else the method may not work for you. And in the first step, you need to bring up any of your browser. It can be Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome, or any other whichever you're using. Now, in the search, you have to type Vice Uninstaller and hit the Enter key. Click on the first link Vice Program Uninstaller, a very popular tool. Click on Free Download, and it's a small file. So, it will be quickly downloaded. So, click on the downloaded file. Click on Yes, and click on Install. OK, and once it will be installed, you will be getting this kind of neat and clean dashboard. Now, it will list you all kind of application here. So, you will have to look for the Microsoft Edge. Select it. Now make a double click on it or single click only, and it will find an option of force uninstall. So, you need to select this option. Click on yes. Now, it will be analyzing the associated file folder and the registry item so that it can delete completely from your computer. After uninstalling, it will let you know that where are the remaining file. So, keep all these options selected. Then, click on remove. Then, it will also give you some kind of recommendation from the registries. You can click on OK, and the Edge browser will be completely uninstalled. Now, another thing that you have to do in the second step to make sure that it doesn't reinstall it back. Click on your Windows search. Type Registry. Then, you have to click on the Registry Editor. Click on Yes, and this kind of Registry Editor box will be up. Now, here from the left-hand menu option, you have to look for HKey Local Machine. Make a double click on it. In the H key local machine, you have to look for the software. Double click on it, and then in the software, you have to look for the folder by the name Microsoft. Here it is. Once you get the Microsoft, you need to make a right click on it. Hover up to new. Click on key, and you have to name this key as edge with the E capital. Update with the U capital, and without any space. Once created, select the edge update folder that you have created. Then on the right hand side, again make a right click. Hover up to New. Choose Door 32-bit value, and this one you have to rename as Do Not Update TO Edge with Chromium. You need to make sure that you type exactly. Even I will leave this name in the description. You can copy and paste. Once you have renamed, make a double click on it, and its value data will be selected to zero. You have to make it to one, and one means that it will not be updating. Zero means it will be updating. Now, once it's been done, click on OK. Click on Close. Now, simply go ahead and restart the computer. Okay, bingo. Now, you can see the Windows has been restarted, and even after the restart, the Edge will not be appearing up, and if I search for it, you will find nothing by the name Edge. Even if I go and right-click on the Windows icon, go to Settings, go to the App section, go to Installed APPS, and here also if I search for Edge, I will find nothing. Alright, and even if you go with the Windows Update and update your Windows operating system, it will never come back. Alright, so give a try, and if you really want to uninstall the Microsoft Edge completely and permanently, try this method. It's working and it's very easy to do. And if you find this video helpful guys, make sure that you hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. And if you want to run macOS on your Windows PC then you can see my video where I show you run macOS on a virtual machine the video show on your screen by.